Hi guys, this is Marma Music. Uh, welcome to this video. Here I will show you actually how to fix all the problems with um, Spitfire Audio and the shorts, which I find really terrible. Uh, the fact basically that you have no envelope control over uh, the short samples, which means that they play at full length. And this means that there's absolutely no nuance you can um, compose into your music. You can always use the time machine ones, but I find them really crappy. Um, and even the tightness doesn't really fix it, and automating tightness is really a pain. So it would have been really cool if the length of the notes would affect the uh, sustain and the release and the envelope, basically, um, that the shorter your note, it would end the sample earlier. But so I'll basically show you how to do it manually, and then um, at the end of the video, I'll provide a um, a link to my web page where I've saved it as a multi so you don't have to do it yourself because it's quite tedious actually. So let's just listen to a few um, little phrasing here for three different shorts, pizzicato and staccato and spiccato and then I'll edit the samples and then you'll hear the difference. So let's get to it. Here is uh, pizzicato. Okay. Okay. So you can hear basically that um, you hear the whole sample from beginning to end regardless of how long the notes are. So what you have to do uh, in order to fix that is first it's a good idea to load all of the different um, mics so you can hear the, the, the real difference. Then you go into advanced editing here, group editor, click on group editor, and then go on the different groups. You have to go and find all the different groups for all the different mics and select them. So I'll just select the shorts. So here I'm selecting one by one. So speak all the spiccato ones, all the round robins, for the close mic, all the shorts as well, and then I'll also select all the pizzicato. Let me just go all the way down. There's one more that I'm missing there. Then next mic, next microphone tree. Again. Uh, short so spiccato, boom, all the round robins. Sorry for the mic quality, by the way. I'm doing this on my um, laptop. I don't really have a professional mic with me, so um, it may sound pretty crappy, but I can't do anything about it. So I'm missing two more samples here three there and the last mic which is ambient there. shorts and pizzicato just get one more pizzicato. Where where are you? Here. Perfect. Now, what you do is you just um, test if it works by playing one of those loops. And if this volume button affects the volume, then you're good to go. Let's check it out. Once you've done that, basically you just click on volume, select envelope, flexible envelopes, and you go into modulation and you should see it this appear. Now, check out what happens to the sound now if I play it.
Okay, so this sounds pretty good. Um, and you can hear now that there is phrasing in what I'm composing. So for instance, I can do phrasing that goes like this. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. And it'll sound completely differently than if I disable it. Let's check it out. You can even shorten that a little bit. There, you can really hear that this sample is now much shorter and it sounds much more um, accurate and uh, realistic. Uh, and you have much more nuance that you, you, can, compo you can compose um, in, in many more phrasings into your music with this kind of system. Let's hear this one. Much better again. And the pizzicato, it'll have only a minor effect, but still, you can hear it. So there, that's how you add um, a little bit of, and basically fix uh, the Spitfire Audio shorts so that you can really have accurate and realistic phrasing. Um, and then what I invite you to do when, when you've done that is just save it as a multi so you're sure not to um, lose it. And so um, I'm going to be editing all of these. Um, the performance legato, I can't really, uh, you can't really affect that. But basically for all of these, especially for the basses, I haven't shown you uh, how the basses sound when you do that, but they sound a lot less muddier and much more precise. Um, in the, the staccato. So it's really, really important to do it, especially for the celli and the basses. I'm going to have you listen to the double bass because I think this is where you really hear the difference. So here is the unedited version. So very muddy as you can hear. Now I'll edit all of the samples. So here's the result. And this one is especially good. See, it's really a night and day difference. Um, this really will save this whole library, honestly. Um, so if you feel lazy and you don't want to do it, um, I've basically uploaded it to mysig.com. Just go to my work downloads and just download the the uh, multi and just load it and test it and tell me um, what you think um, I think this honestly gives uh, another dimension to the Spitfire audio libraries uh, which I really enjoy but um, that was the one thing that was really a killer for me um, is the fact that these uh, long this short samples played uh, in their entirety, which which where you lose a lot of the playability and the phrasing that you can do with shorts. Um, so don't hesitate to donate a few cents. It's always appreciated for a continuation of my work. Uh, and I'll be working on these and um, also probably editing uh, some of the other um, Spitfire audio libraries uh, so that you have, like for instance, the horns, uh, the um, the brass, for instance, also the shorts would deserve a little more uh, phrasing, um, and even the um, the woodwinds. So um, tell me what you think, and uh, see you in the next video.